Success means individual carry some meaningful life, serve other as much as possible, at least uh, not harm other. That's a meaningful life, successful life. After all, our life span about 100 years. So that 100 years, she utilize, bring more smile, more friend. Uh, then that individual life, successful life. Individual life create more suspicion, more fear. That's not successful life. No matter rich or powerful. No. There is no such thing as failure. Failure is an idea. Because success is also a stupid idea. Your idea, what is success and what is failure, isn't it? Instead of trying to change the world, change your idea. Isn't it easy? If you just change your idea of success and failure, everything is great, isn't it? If you were a beggar on the street, today, if you could walk into a restaurant, eat a masala dosa, and pay 10 rupees bill, this would be the high, the peak of your success. Any answer? So, you've gotten trapped in social situations, and it is not even your idea. Why am I crediting you with this? It is somebody's idea. <laughs> What is success, isn't it? You become a slave to somebody's idea. At least have your own idea. You have no idea of your own. Don't deceive yourself. Every idea, every thought, every emotion, every value that you have is picked up from somewhere and it rules you from within. It rules you from within. Your religion, your society, your culture has trained you to believe that this is it. So first, the first and foremost success is that you are not a slave to anybody's idea. This is success. Success is making a decision that you're going to get there and move toward it. It's like the the kid in school is getting seen the average and they're working for you and do. And they're giving it everything they've got, they're a successful person. It's like a person that's maybe accumulated a million dollars and is working towards an estate of five million and they're progressively moving that direction. They're a successful person. Each one is successful as the other. So it's got nothing to do with whether it's a mark for a kid in school or it's an amount of money for a business person. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. That's your only your definition of success. So how do you define success? You have to define success. One, I define success as peace. Mm. Do you like me too? <laughs> You're my kind of guy. That's right. That's right. There's nothing without that. No. Okay, go. Ahead. I'll let you finish. Go ahead. Who, you, who looks back at you in the mirror? Mm -hmm. Do you like that person? Are you at peace? Are with you that? at peace with that person? Are you content? Yeah. That is the foundation of success. Mm -hmm. You can be the most famous person in the world. Yeah. And not have peace. And but I would we argue, know a few of them. <laughs> we do. Yeah. We do. <laughs> um, and I would argue you're, you're, you're not successful. You know, we cannot allow external forces to tell us we are successful. So, so I would add one other thing sure. to that. I would say uh, a sense of peace, a contentment, mm -hmm. and a full... Fulfillment. Fulfillment. Yes. A full... Yes. Full yes. Yeah. You are fulfilled by what you do. Yeah. You are fulfilled when you get up in the morning. You know, so many times we wake up in the morning, we're depressed, we're down, we're angry, we're frustrated. But when you can wake up saying, 
I'm glad to be alive. Mm -hmm. There is purpose to this day. Mm -hmm. To me, that is success. And I would argue that once you have that internal success, yeah. then externally, it's just a manifestation of what happens internally in the best possible way. One of my favorite uh, thought leaders, uh, spiritual teachers, is Gary Zukav, who's been on uh, Super Soul several times. And his definition of authentic power, he says, is when you uh, allow the personality to serve the energy of the soul mm, or the spirit. When the and, and and I interpret that to mean that when you use your personality to serve the higher energy of your spirit. Mm -hmm. So you're just letting that personality work for yeah. the spirit yeah. in you. Yeah. And, and and that to me is is what I like to talk about and call that is embracing your true self. Yeah. Because sometimes we So we all have different language yeah. languaging for it. Yes. Yeah. But we're saying the same thing. So how do you define success? Um, I think success is, is, um, is seeing those around you work to their natural best and creating momentum for a vision towards a vision that will last beyond yourself. So a guy is driving a bus for 20 years, mm -hmm. got to retire, he's on Madison Avenue in New York, packed every day as people getting on that bus and getting off. Mm -hmm. He has two kids, a wife lives mm -hmm. in Queens. Mm -hmm. He might call himself successful. Mm -hmm. Another guy might be vice president of that company who would call himself unsuccessful. So is success what you make of it? It's, success is a feeling. It's not a, it's not a series of check marks and goals. I think people define success as, as finish lines. You know, they, I, well, I ran a marathon, I'm successful. The question is, A, why did you run the marathon? And what happens after you've completed the marathon? Do you just keep running marathons? What happens if you break your leg and you can no longer run marathons? You know, we set, a lot of people set um, financial goals. I'm successful when I make my first million. Ah, okay, now I have to make my second million. It's, success is a feeling, and, and it's the feeling of contribution. So your bus driver in Queens, if he has decided that his job as a bus driver is to ensure that everyone who gets on his bus feels better about themselves because they got on his bus and not another bus. And so he greets them with a smile, he says good morning, he says goodbye, that people will remember that, 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 uh, that ride that they took with him versus the, this vice president of the company who's made it about himself and his financial goals. He's the one who's unhappy, as opposed to seeing those around him succeed and those around him go home with a love of their, their day, you know, because they come to work in his company every day. Question: How would you define success? Well, for me, uh, it's really fulfillment, which is important, which is the uh, lasting satisfaction that you have, that you really tried your best and uh, uh, you've given it everything that you have, right? And uh, sometimes, like in spite of that you might not achieve your outcome and you have to reconcile with that and that's uh, what my philosophy in life is excellent ladies and gentlemen mukesh ambani thank you i was wondering how you define success personally well i I can certainly define happiness because that's what that's what I am. I mean, I, I and, and if that, if that <laughs> I mean, I get to do what I like to do every single day of the year. And I get to do it with people I like. I get to I get to I don't have to associate with anybody causes my stomach to churn. At, uh, uh, and uh, the only thing in my job I don't like, and this only happens about every three or four years, is occasionally I have to fire somebody, and I don't like that's the only thing. Other than that, I, I tap dance to work, and I get down there, and I think I'm supposed to lie on my back and paint the ceiling, you know, or something like my <laughs> so, I mean, it, that's the way I feel, and, I, and, and it, 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 it doesn't diminish. It, it's, it's tremendous fun, so uh, success is uh, 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 getting what you want, and happiness is wanting what you get. Well, I don't know which one uh, applies in this case, but I... I do know that I, I wouldn't be doing anything else. I mean, it, uh, uh, I do advise you, you know, when you go out to work, go to, go to work for an organization that you admire, people you admire, because it'll, it'll, it'll turn you on, and, and, and uh, uh, you ought to be happy where you are working. And get right into what you enjoy, you know, and, and, uh, <laughs> and you'll be successful at it. You really will. I mean, you won't be able to... 
and the best definition of success which I know is this. Success is the knowledge with which to get whatever you want from life without violating the rights of others and by helping others to acquire it. Would you mind giving me your definition of the word success? My definition of success is this. The power with which to acquire whatever one demands of life without violating the rights of others. Well, Mr. Carnegie, is it not true that success is often the result of luck? If you analyze my definition of success, you will see that there is no element of luck about it. A man may, and sometimes men do, fall into opportunities through mere chance or luck. But they have a queer way of falling out of these opportunities the first time opposition overtakes them.